It was in service uh, till 2010, from 1954 to 2010, and uh, it's seen a lot of things over its years. Seen a lot, it has. The John D. McKean Fireboat has been part of some of the FDNY's most high-profile response and rescue efforts, like the miracle on the Hudson and 9-11. From the firehouse, we could see, from the dock, we could see a big hole in the, uh, the one of the Twin Towers, and we responded immediately. And on the way down, we could see things dropping from, from the building. At first, I thought it was debris, but uh, one of the other firefighters told me, he said, that's people jumping. Greg Woods and Jimmy Briarty were part of the Marine One crew that operated the McKean during the 9-11 attacks. We were able to set up and help civilians and, and prepare to get uh, to pump water. The men remember a chaotic scene after the first tower was hit and then fell, spewing thick dust everywhere. People ran to the water. And it was very chaotic. It was, it was the... Uh, most people I've ever seen in a panic mode. They were running down the dock. Also, there was a daycare center right there. Uh, the people from the daycare center were ha handing out, handing down babies. We were taking the babies and putting them inside, like on the couches. That morning, the McKean evacuated about 100 people from Lower Manhattan to New Jersey. Then it went back and, with other fire boats, got to work pumping water to the pile. The uh, uh, building had uh, come down and destroyed all the uh, water supply. So we were the only water supply, us and the other fire boats, for about three or four days. FDNY Lieutenant Billy Ryan was working on the pile. There was no water on the fire because the water mains were broken. And we were going across I-beams, which were like melting your boots hot. Finally, a hose from the McKean made its way to Ryan and his colleagues. Well, we'd be dead without it. So that's the you know, four of us would be dead, without a doubt. So this saved your life because it was so hot, because there was no water. Yeah, we had no options at that point. So is this for a good part of 9-11 where you were pumping the water out when they needed water on the pile? We were, yes, we were here. We were pumping water and we were supplying so many hoses that we didn't even know. The boat, which can pump 19,000 gallons of water a minute, was taken out of service in 2010 and purchased at auction in 2016. Two years later, the nonprofit Fireboat McKean Preservation Project was formed and restoration of the boat began. It's just a piece of New York City history New York history, and I figured it, don't let it go to the junkyard. So we started bringing it back to life. And soon the public will get to experience its history firsthand when the boat opens for tours on Pier 25 along the Hudson River in commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the 9 11 attacks as a sort of floating museum. People start to forget, and something like this, the museum, just keeps it alive in the memories, especially all the families that lost people. The rescue that he made on September 11th. Tracy Conti, whose father, Harry Wanamaker, was a 37-year FDNY veteran who served with Marine One on the McKean on 9-11, now heads up the nonprofit. She says the boat has special memories for so many, and she believes the public will embrace it. I heard from a 85-year-old woman whose father was the designer of this boat. So people who touch this boat in any way, it, it kind of leaves a, a mark on their heart. The goal is for the McKean to be open to the public for at least a week around 9-11 on a donation basis. The idea is that some of the firefighters who spend time on board the ship will be here to walk visitors through their experiences. On the West Side, I'm Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.